Hi guys, how are you doing? Today I'm going to be talking to you about a really weird sales day that I had. Actually, it was my highest sales day ever and it wasn't in Q4, it was in May 2021. And the reason why it was a weird sales day is because it was a bulk order of one book and it was a book that I did not frequently sell that much of. I think at the time I may have been selling one or two every now and again every other day something like that. The amount that it came to was actually it was at $1,200 for the one book and $1,400 for the day. Um, So that was a $1,400 day and that was the most in one day that I've ever had. So one of the really great things about KDP from my experience is having some of these bulk order days. Um, You don't know when they're going to happen so it's completely out of the blue and it can be a real surprise and it's not always when you think. I mean I didn't expect that May was going to be one of my highest sales months ever and it still is aside from December. So this particular month that we're just um, coming to the end to now in December 2022 that's my highest month ever but Uh, aside from that is actually was in May 2021 and I don't have any specific books that would typically sell in May it was quite random I wouldn't say that it was a gift exactly it wasn't that type of book so I don't know I don't know if it was a company or business maybe but yeah it was $1,200 for this one book and it didn't happen all at once it wasn't like suddenly I had $1,200 in my account it was gradually trickled in throughout the day and I guess this is because as we know um, when our sales actually show up is when the book is shipped so some people are unsure about this but basically when someone orders a book it's not showing on your account as a sale the only time that it shows up is when it's actually being shipped so what was happening I guess is that this book was being printed off and then shipped and then every time there was a shipment I would get a bit more money in my account. So at first I think it was one or two hundred dollars, something like that. And then it would just it just went up and up gradually over the day, uh, which was crazy. It's really exciting when that kind of thing happens. And I do get bulk order days, it's not that unusual, but usually they are for books that I sell more frequently. Some of my best sellers do get bulk orders. But then I do get the odd time where it is just randomly ones that I don't sell that much of. Um, that sell so sometimes it can be quite random the books that you do end up selling and they're not always the ones that you're the most proud of the thing is that people are always going to have different opinions to you even about your own designs you might think something is amazing but actually someone might prefer the one that you don't like as much Um, which is why again it's a good idea to try different styles and put different things out there because you really don't know what someone is after and of course people have such varying tastes when it comes to design so if you just stick to the one type of thing you're never going to know actually oh if I'd done something a bit differently maybe that book would have taken off and again that's why I recommend that you do try and do a few different unique designs within the same niche and that means you know very different style wise if you can obviously it can be difficult we all kind of have our own style uh, base at the core I think it can be quite difficult to divert away from that another thing that maybe you can take from from this is to try and think about books that you create that could be ordered in bulk and that means appealing more to perhaps certain companies or organisations, businesses and things like that. Thinking in broader terms for that can sometimes help and the other thing is that when you're researching books you will never know that a book has had a massive order like this. I was told in the past that when someone does a bulk order it only affects your bestseller rank Um, the one time as though it's just one sale so I remember checking back to this book and I thought oh wow my my BSR is going to go right down and and uh, I kept checking back and it changed sort of as if I'd had one sale I guess and it didn't seem to change after that so if you're researching you may not know that a book's just had you know a hundred orders and days like this just prove I guess more that KDP is worth your time when you think that just one book that doesn't even to maybe sell that much but then can suddenly make you $1,200 in a day is 
just mind blowing to me. It's beyond anything that I would have expected when I started this in 2019. Despite the fact that I saw people making huge amounts of sales, you never really 100% believe it until you start experiencing it. If you're not interested in design whatsoever, you're not interested in books in that way, creating books, publishing books, you know, and there's a lot behind it as well. It's not just that, it's the researching, it's the uploading. There has to be something from it that you really enjoy doing, I would say, unless you're going to outsource everything and then that's going to be very expensive. People that are going to have the best chance are going to be people who really are quite passionate about creating books in the first place, or at least they enjoy it to, to a degree. I mean, I have I am actually quite obsessed <laughs> with stationery. <laughs> um <laughs> And I used to constantly buy notebooks and journals and things. I used to have, you know, tons of them all the time. So I already had an interest in it. And so for me, I liked the idea of creating books that I wanted or that appealed to me as well, not just other people, um, because I was a fan. I was already a fan. So it helps if you do have that interest. But even with my interest, you know, it does get tiresome. It does get boring. It can be a struggle. You do get burnt out if you do too much. I think having that interest is important. And then if you have those other skills as well, like keyword research and niche research, that's going to help you for sure. I think that's what helped me make that income quite quickly as I made $1,000 in my third month. And I don't think that that would have happened if I didn't already have that base knowledge. Um with Canva, with keyword research and niche research. If you start just focusing on sales, you're going to get really frustrated. And that's something that I've learned over many years because I started online business way before KDP as far as blogging and affiliate marketing and creating websites. And it took me a long time to see any money. I think it was just a couple of pounds or something that took me ages of solid work to try, to try and do. Um, so by contrast, KDP was you know very, very quick. I think it's really easy to make judgments about people that you think, wow, they've made this money in three months or they're an overnight success or whatever and actually if you look behind the curtain often those people have been working away at trying to make money online for years prior to this in various ways so all the things that I've learned over the time in on my business has been completely transferable onto KDP and that's from just even learning Canva even learning the basics those basic design skills and other things. Think about how you can develop skills that are going to help you in the long run, because they will. You know, when you are learning new skills, nothing is wasted. So if you're not making any sales and you're kind of just frustrated by these kind of uh, videos talking about people making money and, you know, how they made this much in a day or whatever, uh, maybe look at one of my videos, uh, Why No Sales, which is here. I can link to it in this video. Um, But I basically go over the main reasons why I think that people don't generate sales on KDP. And there are just two main reasons that I think are almost always the case when it comes to this. If you're interested, that might help help you out. So let me know in the comments below what kind of crazy sales days you've had. Have you had bulk order days where you you've made a lot of money from a book that doesn't usually sell or have you just had an immense sales day out of the blue when you weren't expecting it let me know in the comments and also let me know in the comments if there are any particular videos you'd like me to do obviously I'm just starting out here and I want to make sure that I'm creating videos that people find interesting or useful so if you are interested in KDP or online business in general then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos like this. And I really appreciate you being here and thank you for listening.